Are you okay, amigos? Amigos, can you believe the conditions we're living in? I had to sleep right here under the tree last night. This is getting way out of hand. We need longer breaks. I've been sick for a month. I can't afford to go to the clinic. And the clinics are across the town. These 14 hour shifts are killing me. I barely get enough to feed my family. Yeah. Estás bien, güey? Sí, me duele la cabeza. ¿Qué traes? That's it for today. Give you guys a salary. ¿Qué? ¿Qué es esto? What is this? Huh? Mister, this doesn't seem right. This is 20 cents less than last month. Si, sí, señor, I've been sick for a month. I need a week off to go to a clinic. That's not my problem. You have to work, I have to cut down on expenses. Por favor, señor, he's really sick. He needs to go see a doctor. Señor, how am I supposed to feed my family if you're not giving us enough? That's not my problem. What is this? ¿Qué es eso? We are here to unite and say that we will not tolerate these insufficient salaries. Yeah. We demand less hours. Yeah. Yeah. Longer break. Si. Si. More pay for all of us. No. Si. We need time off work when we're sick. Si. Yes. Si. Jose will finally go to the doctors. Si. Si. Yes. Pancho will finally be able to feed his family. Si. si. And Juan will no longer have to sleep under the bridge. Si. Yes. Si se puede. Si si se puede. Si se puede, si se puede, si se puede. Queremos un contrato. Si, 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 si. After five years, the boycott ended. Even though the great boycott was a failure, Cesar Chavez led another boycott on Scanly Liquor Company that was a success, and soon the great producer were forced to sign contracts. Thanks to the Hernandez, Texas case, all Mexicans and immigrants were protected by the 14th Amendment.